All right, guys, I just wrapped up this build. This was a fun one, a little unique. Um, I've done a bunch of these like this, but I'll walk through it. Um, but this is the first I think I've made a video. So this is a combi boiler that also utilizes a wood boiler um, as a backup heat. Um, so I've gone ahead and piped it to be able to allow for the customer to be able to switch over from the gas as a fuel source and using this boiler or come over here and utilize this heat exchanger, which will be connected to an outdoor wood boiler. Um, so just to walk through it how, it, how it works is when the customer wants to typically just use, for the most part, the gas boiler, um, this valve here will be in this position. I've actually got some labels here, labeled wood or gas, up or to the left. So this is going to direct the, this, this will be connected to the radiators in the home. So this, the cool return water from the radiators will come into here. It'll be forced this direction since this three-way valve is, is pointed that way. And it will direct the water back down in here through the magnetic filter, th through the primary loop, up into the boiler to be heated, and through the air separator and up to the pump, which obviously is pushing it towards the supply, towards the radiators in the home. So um, when we want to convert over and utilize the outdoor wood boiler, what we will do is swing this valve up, which will now direct the water down to the right and force the water through this heat exchanger. Now, as I said, this will be piped to uh, a supply from the wood boiler, and this would be the water going back to the wood boiler. So this is a plate heat exchanger that's going to transfer the water heat from this zone over to this loop. Now these are, this heat exchanger, if you're not familiar with how these work, um, this input in return and this input in return are hydraulically separated. That means the water does not mix. And instead what's happening is the heat gets transferred between these individual plates. Some of the plates are connected to this connection and some of them to that. So when the heat comes from the wood boiler, it's gonna heat up this entire plate, transfer the heat over, and this will now become the essentially your primary loop instead of the gas boilers being uh, utilized. So um, one thing you also need to think about is the electronics or the controlling and the thermostat and how that's all gonna sort of play into each other. So um, this customer only wants to be able to switch over maybe twice a year. It's not something he's doing every weekend. So he did just actually explain to me that he doesn't mind just disconnecting or connecting thermostat wires or however it may be, but I wanted to simplify it for him a little bit. So obviously went ahead and put that three-way valve on there so that no piping would obviously have to be changed. Um, but also what we had to take into account is um, when there is a call for heat, normally the if we use the controls that are in here and we wired the thermostat right to here, that means every time there's a call for heat, the combi is going to try and fire and it's also going to turn on the primary loop pump inside. Uh, we don't want that. We either want this as the heating source or the wood boiler. So what I've gone and done is actually just added a zone controller externally and we're going to wire the thermostat to this. So anytime there's a call for heat, no matter what, whether it's the wood uh, being hooked up or the gas, that's going to supply power to our pump. So it's going to turn on our pump whether anytime there's a call for heat. However, what we don't want to do when the wood boilers um, in, in the wood mode is fire this thing up. So I've gone and put a kill switch that will no longer tell the boiler to fire. Now I've labeled it up for gas, down for wood. So we're going, when it's in wood, we're cutting off that um, signal to the boiler to fire that up. So when he wants to switch back and forth, he'll just flip that valve over there, flip the switch, and he could go back and forth to either of the modes. Um, I've sort of done you know a, a quick overview over this. There are a lot of other components, as you can see in this build. I go over a lot of them in my other videos. Uh, the filter, the air separation, pumps, controls, um, all these connections for domestic hot water, um, auto fill connections. So there's a, there's a lot of components and I do a pretty good job at least covering individually all of those com components. So if it's something you're interested in learning about or you want to know more about, check out my other videos and uh, you can learn a lot from those. So um, if you do have any questions about you know either this system or maybe your own system you're trying to design or build, um, my, my info is in the description. Please reach out, email me, message me, leave a comment. 
Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It goes a long way. I appreciate all you guys that are subscribed and um, all you return uh, people that keep coming back, watching the videos, give me thumbs up. It's really great. It means a lot to me. So um, if you can, um, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.